Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it started out originally, I was a stay-at-home mom, full-time college student, and um, their father went to prison, and I was forced to overnight to be, you know, have to fend for myself, which wasn't wasn't very easy being a stay-at-home mom for seven years. Um, he's now married and he lives in Arizona. <laughs> oh, okay. But unfortunately, how it goes in most situations, when we split ways, he also cut ties with us completely. We have no communication with him at all. He, not even on the phone. <laughs> Um, well, I worked really hard and I, I managed to get my own car. I had my own things and um, we lived in the car for a little while and I would stay just wherever we could because I didn't have anybody or anywhere to go. So we did pretty much what we could. My kids were in daycare and I had known the daycare worker you know, for a little while, and she let us park in her daycare parking lot, and we would sleep there. And then first thing in the morning, because they opened so early, we would go inside and use the bathroom, and sometimes, like, I would just wash them up with, with napkins and stuff like that, so they would be ready for school. But it was really hard because, thank you, sweetie they would miss school and stuff because if I couldn't give them a shower and I didn't want them going to school being dirty or I couldn't wash clothes so it, it was really tough but mostly my car and sometimes like I said people would let us stay at their house for a couple of days but never very long for you oh wow <laughs> They've helped with back bills so I could get my utilities turned on, my water and electricity. Um, they helped with daycare funding so that I could continue to send my kids to, ch to daycare. Um, rent, which is, they've helped me stay afloat as long as I have. And um, they've been helping me look for a job as well. Christmas, food, clothing, a bicycle, bus passes, my birth certificate, my ID. The list is so long, there's all kinds of things. And I, I would be lost if it wasn't for them. Honestly, I would still be on the streets right now if it wasn't for them. Interested in, what's your favorite? Um, we're supposed to do science in class, but I don't know if we're going What do you want to do like, when you grow up? What do you want to be? I want to be a scientist. What? I want to be a doctor to help animals. A veterinary. A veterinary doctor? <laughs> okay, that's great. And I want to work in the military. Work in the... She wants to be military. in the military. Oh, the military. Cool. Okay. She actually awesome. said she wanted to save her allowance to go to military school. I told her she didn't have to do that. <laughs> That's a little bit much. But she could go to the military when she turned 18. She would be able to do that. 